Hello, my name is Andrew Hodgson. I am the guest editor of this Angles Journal special issue, The Torn Object, Experimentation in Post-War British Literature and Film. I speak to you from the depths of Omicron, set to a video of something I've not been able to do for a little while now. Hopefully my voice lasts out for this very brief introduction. The histories of experimentation in Anglophone artistic production are something of a rocky terrain. The word experimental itself taking on toxic overtones over the course of the 20th century. As Morton Levitt writes of the British context, for British authors and critics, it has for decades been a pejorative. As a critical descriptor or a mode of creation and engagement, it has long been avoided in favor of the more general innovative the more ideologically loaded, modernist, the more ephemeral, avant-garde. The application of any of which presents limitations when attempting to address the histories of what might be termed critical representation, or the aesthetically challenging in artistic production in the Anglophone cultural sphere since the mid-20th century. However, in recent years, this toxicity has begun to be critically questioned and the artistic artifacts and experimental modes of production lost in these liminal spaces within, between the descriptors of innovative or modernist or avant-garde have begun to reappear in criticism and publication showing in retrospective as a result of this process of reassessment. If the current reassessments Anglophone cultural history is undergoing has centered renegotiations of established canon artifacts and canon theories of those artifacts, this special issue seeks to expand that reassessment into the wider modes of engagement with experimental production, object and reception that growing critical spotlight has perhaps indicated or revealed beyond the current matter of critical focus. In bringing together wide ranging observations of experimental material, critical approaches and niched and or sidelined histories, the torn object presents a body of critical work that forms new avenues of thought in our understandings of post-war chiefly British artistic representation. Six of the eight following articles were first presented at the International Conference Reconnecting Text and World, rereading the British experimental novel of post-war that took place in the semi-fittingly named Georges Perec Auditorium at University paris marne on the 18th and 19th of April, 2019. As the title suggests, that conference focused on the experimental novel in post-war Britain of particular focus in the papers were figures vaguely coalescing into an amorphous sort of grouping in the late 1960s and early 1970s, or at least critically assigned as such a posteriori. Carrying that spotlight forward into this publication, the following articles focus primarily on B.S. Johnson, Anne Quinn and Bridget Brophy. Other figures from that grouping similarly make their appearance, and adjacent texts are brought into this sphere through comparisons with Muriel Spark, Christine Brooke Rose, and outside the immediate temporality of this grouping, Stuart Holm. These observations of the experimental novel of the period are here joined by two articles that observe experimentation on screen, looking to London filmmakers cooperative members Mike Leggett and Ian Breakwell's 1970 short film Sheet, and the presentation of Samuel Beckett's later film work, largely in the British context. The title of that conference is an underlying driver of the articles that appear here in a number of ways. The first, to reconnect this much beleaguered term experimental to a constructive use in critical discourse. The second, reconnecting the figures and artifacts of the post-war years in the British context to the social conditions of their emergence, from which they have long been divorced. The third, in doing so, to help return this corpus to some semblance of understanding as a viable artistic culture and a legitimate presence in recent cultural history. These are points myself and the contributors to this special issue have written and spoken on before and will continue to do so. And yet these reapproaches are still emergent in a process of critical flux. So here I will not endeavor to overcode the window within which the following articles are to be viewed. I will not define here the experimental in literature or film, 
nor how these entities might be re-established in critical discourse around post-war British and wider Anglophone cultural history. Believe these inferences to emerge from the reading of the following eight voices as they follow their avenues of thought into the subject. There's more work to be done in this field, and here with this contribution we lay new groundwork for that continuing labour. <laughs> Comment t'as atterri à Boulogne? <laughs>